This is Keystone Highlight. My name is Ajim Crozier, and this is an opinion piece special. Memento Mori has become the roots of a go-to punchline for this channel, but as I use it, it raises my curiosity. How does one keep death as a memento? This is part three of a four-part series on mementos, and why they were, and are, as far as invented habits go, among the greatest of inventions. This part three has had to be split into two parts, creating one additional part to this four-part series that has now become a theme. So my question is, will the people love me? I understand perfectly well that you might be tired of the world's shit. My own gender identity became here, now, and I'm tired of your shit. I'd like to detail with you honestly that you can pretty much expect to run into shit. Honestly, in all cases, I think you have to worry about that cartoon cannibal, the self-important dullard. It seems like every type of crook and every kind of problem element, which is probably a kind of crook that just doesn't get identified, fits this archetype of erratic or neurotic or no cluster of thought between selfishness and action, and probably a squeakier voice in mind as well. So shouldn't you worry about this? Well, I'm going to detail for you the perspectives of both haves and have-nots, starting with the have-nots. This is where this has had to be split in half. So to start with, if the world is inhumane and neglectful, and all opportunities, all equal abject poverty, isn't it unreasonable to be a simp to the society? And if it is unreasonable to be a simp to the society, is it unreasonable to prefer continuing existence to suicide? And if it is unreasonable to prefer the continuing of existence to suicide, is it unreasonable can men undisturb the lives and times of the rest of society? If you call this humor bleak, you want to be wrong, but onward we go and it's going to a brighter place. If it is unreasonable to commend undisturb the lives and times of the rest of society, and it is unreasonable to prefer the continuing of existence to suicide, is it unreasonable to believe in anything but an exit in a blaze of glory? But if it is unreasonable to believe in anything but an exit in a blaze of glory, and if all other conditions but this very fringe case hold true, is it not reasonable that one should dream of renaissance and the course to universal happiness through Machiavellian steel? And so if you can see that it's hard for the have-nots here, Wait until you see what it's like for those who have all the power.